Okay, so I was attempting to open that Citadel lock um, on camera and just finding that I was mangling it and so I decided to leave it alone and let the next guy have a go at it and show you something else. This is also a mailbox lock that I got off of eBay, completely unrelated to the other ones. Um, this one says Eagle. I think some of the other ones say Yale. It has a Yale keyway. Came with keys, and I picked it open last night. I won't bother showing you that. It's a funny little lock. Um, you can see it has this cam. Make sure still in frame. Lighting. Zoom. Something. It has this little cam, and that's the travel on it. So if I should have pulled the keys off before I started, but. So you can see it's picked open. There it is, reset. So you can see the key just turns it that far. That's the full extent of the movement. So probably pulls a little latch out of the way on a door or something like that. So I thought I got it. Um, it was giving me a little trouble opening it, but I suspect it was just the keyway. Um, so let me zoom out. and crank up the exposure a little bit so that you can see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, focus. I'm not happy with that. There we go. Okay, so, put the key in. The cam is held in by two flathead screws, which I've already started to loosen. And it appears to be the only thing holding this together. Where did my little organizer go? That's over there. Grab that a minute. This was sort of the nastiest looking of the bunch. It's overexposed a little bit, isn't it? Let's crank, crank that down. Good morning sunlight and my white background is conspiring to Make this more difficult. Okay, so we take that off. I've not taken one. Shit, I've not taken one of these apart yet, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect. So there's that little cam. You can see the bottom of the key. Let me grab my my uh, very sophisticated styrofoam organizer here. Now. Plug follower. Looks safe. Okay, that worked well. So here's the plug with the key pins. The key pins look like they might be not brass, but let's pop them out and see. See what we got. So, focus. Okay, so starting the first chamber, number one. Oops. And of course, the tweezers are elsewhere. Shit. Love it. Every time I need something, it's missing. Okay, well, we'll just start with two then. That one, that one, that's a big long one, that's probably not helping. So those are all normal. They do look a bit like they are steel. Um, get my little magnet, see what we got. Nope, so they may be nickel silver or they may be stainless, who knows. And then let's have a look at the top pins. I have a feeling they're going to be equally unexciting. Um, I've been trying to show off this plug follower um, that I use. It's a piece of aluminum round bar that I um, just filed a notch into for handling the backs of some of the um, plugs. 
and um, you can stay there for me. I uh, I like a solid follower because the um, the pins have less of a tendency to go shooting out the back, um, and the little notch actually helps align things when you're reassembling the top pins. Okay, so there's. Oops, there's pin, top pin one, also normal. I didn't really detect any serrated pins in this or security pins. There's top pin two and its spring. Again, these appear to be some type of non-brass material. Um, but not ferrous steel, or not, sorry, not, um, See how tiny that top pin is because of the bottom, so they're kind of balanced. And that's the last one. The spring came out the bottom. All right. There's our spring. There's that. Did I get any of that in frame? Yeah, I did. So, <clears throat> funny little mailbox lock. There's the pins. Completely unimpressive. Um, so, no steel, no anti drill, no nothing. The, geez, even the screws aren't, aren't um, ferrous, so the screws appear to be brass actually. So, um, one other little interesting thing if you look at the key, and, uh, the plug. It's really dirty. Um, but if you look at the key, here's the first cut. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see all this length. So there's this big dead area in here, which just seems a little longer than a normal lock. And you probably could have put another key pin in there. Not 100% sure why they did that. Um, but anyhow, the back of the plug is stamped with the code, and the key, is, since there's not much else interesting here, has a code on it as well. And 71593, 71593 doesn't appear to be a direct bidding code, so that's just some other thing. And you can see USPS do not duplicate on the bow. So it's some type of postal, old postal lock. So um, the only reason I'm really showing this is because I haven't seen a lock of this sort of form factor before. Here's the little the uh, shell, the Bible and everything. I uh, thought that was kind of neat, and a little cam, which is just a piece of stamp sheet metal. Anyway, that's that. Mm, got a bunch of these if someone wants to trade for one, or just get one. Got probably about eight of them. So, anyway, this is Alex. Have fun. Keep it legal. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.